now I just briefly introduce uh, those who are going to, 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 to speak. And I'll do it in reverse order of those who are going to address you. Um, so firstly, um, replacing the original Lord Alverston, um, can I introduce uh, Sir Anthony Hooper, who's a former Lord Justice of Appeal. Um, Tony Hooper practised at the Bar of England and Wales from uh, 1974 to 1995. He was made a QC in 87. Um, he was a presiding judge on the North Eastern Circuit and sat as a Lord Justice of Appeal from 2004. Uh, although he retired, I think, uh, this year, he's joined Falkland Chambers, so he's not sitting idle. He's still carrying on legal practice. And during his extensive practice, he appeared in both civil and criminal courts. He prosecuted and defended in a number of high-profile criminal trials um, and appeared in the European Court of Justice. His cases included prosecuting serial murderer and rapist John Duffy in 1988, um, you could have a look at uh, his, his illustrious roll call of cases is too long for me to read out, but um, uh, I can also tell you in his judicial role he did a number of high profile jury cases, including presiding over the first uh, Damalola Taylor trial back in 2002. Um, he recently gave a valedictory lecture, which I was um, uh, privileged enough to uh, attend. He's the general editor of Blackstone's Criminal Practice. Um, so, could we give a welcome, please, to uh, Sir Anthony? sums up, you'll hear from the defence, uh, John Cooper QC. John was uh, born in Wolverhampton, he's, he's a Wolves fan. Um, he was uh, called to the bar in 1983, he's, he's now a silk and he's a leading barrister in serious crime, including murder, serious violence, drug trafficking, terrorism, fraud, human rights and media. Anything I've missed out there, John? No, um, no. Good. He's currently at 25 um, Bedford Row uh, Chambers. He was named by the Times as one of the top 100 influential lawyers of 2012 in the UK. He's visiting professor of law at Cardiff University. He's a master of the bench at Middle Temple. He also has two illustrious a CV for me to go into detail, but do have a look at his website at www.john-cooper.info. Uh, um, and you can follow John on Twitter, as I do. Um, at John underscore Cooper underscore QC. He's been called by the Times a star at the criminal bar, and he's a regular on TV and radio. He's a legal commentator in mainstream media and professional uh, journals. Um, John Cooper. <laughs> and therefore our first speaker to sum up uh, for the prosecution uh, is Mark Cotter. Um, Originally, um, Mark developed a formidable practice and is instructed as lead counsel for prosecution and defence. The core of Mark's practice is heavy fraud work, um, including confiscation, together with organised crime and serious sexual offences. He's instructed by the CPS and fraud cases um, and a number of le uh, leading criminal defence firms. He's even been instructed uh, by me. <laughs> he was recently uh, described by the judge of a substantial fraud case as an advocate of high quality, um, and again, he has an impressive CV. Um, he's at Five St Andrews Hill uh, Chambers. Again, worth having a Google just to look in more detail at his at his record. I had a quick look at his website. I see that uh, I read from that that Mark began specialising in sex at a very sorry specialising <laughs> in sexual offences at a very early stage in his career. Um, it also tells me one of those quirky touches that, uh, that people try to do to make lawyers look human, um, that Mark is a season ticket holder at Cardiff City Football Club, as well as a friend of the Royal Opera and a friend of the Imperial War Museum, an eclectic mix, a very able advocate, and I'm passing you over to him to kick off the proceedings. Mark Cotter.